Hi, I'm Raj Kumar, President and Editor-in-Chief of DevX here at the European Development Days and joined by uh, Minister Sufyan Ahmed, who is the Minister of Finance and Economic Development of Ethiopia. And I think you've held that position now nearly two decades. Uh, thank you for being here in Brussels. Thank you. Uh, I just wanted to, to get a sense from you. You come from a country that is very fast growing. The economy there has been growing at almost double digit rates now for, for a decade. And you have big ambitions. Uh, tell us a little bit about Ethiopia as a case study uh, for other countries in Africa, other countries at similarly low level of development. What have you been doing right in your view? Well, first of all, uh, as you said, we have been uh, really uh, doing uh, well for uh, quite some time. Uh, the economy has been growing significantly, uh, double digits. We managed to reduce uh, poverty by 50%. Uh, we are on track uh, to achieve almost all, I say almost all, with, probably with the exception of one, all the MDGs. Our vision is really to be a low middle income countries by 2050. By 20, sorry, by 2025. Okay. For this, we have been implementing a successive medium term development plan. The objective is basically to reduce poverty and ultimately to eliminate it, to invest on human development, to invest massively on infrastructure, and uh, to modernize our agriculture. So these are the, 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 the pillars. We are also investing on uh, institutional capacity buildings. Nearly achieving all the development goals, the Millennium Development Goals, what role have the donor agencies played in that? The European Commission, EuropeAid, and other donors? Oh, uh, okay. In fact, they play quite a lot. Uh, European Union uh, is our largest uh, uh, development partner in terms of ODA. But most importantly, they are also uh, give, giving us experience of new member states of the European Union, so particularly those that uh, really joined recently. They have more or less the same background like uh, Ethiopia. So we are getting some experience sharing from them. So they are not only the dev development partners, civil societies, private sector have uh, been really playing a very important role in uh, this uh, uh, in our march toward uh, achieving these uh, goals. And are you seeing more and more funding go through your ministry and through budget support? Uh, yes, but uh, I hope uh, that will be the case. But uh, at the present, that is not the case. Uh, one of the things that really our development partner should look into seriously in the future is really to use the country system for channeling their resources. Uh, we are open to discuss with them to see if there are any weaknesses in our public financial ma management system and to fix it with them. From my long, long experience, it is absolutely important to use the country system that will uh, create transparency, that will also make government accountable. So instead of really fixing on short-term projects, my advice for our partner is really to use country systems. It seems like the dynamic has changed in a way. It used to be the donors forcing conditionality on countries like Ethiopia, and now there's a two-way dialogue to some degree. I wonder how much do you still hear from donors about conditionality? I know there have been issues around privatizations in the country, certainly human rights issues. To what degree do those figure into the to the conversations you end up having at places like this conference? Oh, yeah, much, much, much uh, di uh, difference. Uh, 10 years ago, 12 years ago, uh, we were talking of uh, structural changes. Uh, one fits uh, everybody. Now uh, that really has changed. Uh, still, there are conditionalities. Conditionalities sh should be there. Uh, I support conditional. The issue is yeah. this conditionality should be realistic, it should be achievable. It should be uh, accepted by both ways. Uh, so there is always, we said, yes, conditional. For instance, if they ask me really to improve our public financial management system, that's a good conditionality. It helps me to improve the public financial management system. Human rights, it's very, very important. Without human rights, without uh, democracy, without the rule of law, we cannot sustain economic growth. So these are good. The only thing is the timing, how 
we are going to implement this. You know? Some of our countries, we emerged from a totally different system, joining the, you know, the market-based, uh, rule-based uh, systems. We have to build institutions. We have to create culture. So it takes some time. Uh, sometimes our uh, uh, development partner really they want to see the result overnight. Right. Uh, I understand their frustration, but they should also be realistic. Well, we could have a much longer conversation about this, and I hope we do sometime. I know we're excited to hear from you on the panel this afternoon. And I think this is a, a real debate, in fact, about how donor agencies interact with countries like Ethiopia. And I thank you for sharing some of your views and uh, for being here. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.